every new program that I have opened to run stream has made me so scared that something is going to just irrevocably break. As always with capture cards, it was a trial and tribulation to make sure everything worked and to get it like running through OBS, but fingers crossed it continues to work okay. Unregistered Hypercam 2. I was getting to the point where we were going to do Unregistered Hypercam 2, just film it with my phone and slap Unregistered Hypercam just on my VTuber forehead and do it super old school. <laughs> And then upon booting this up, it gives you your full, like, content warning. But it does have themes of, I believe, like, suicide, self-harm, and, like, bullying. Okay, yes. The style contains depictions of suicide, self-harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying that some people may find distressing. The makers do not intend to encourage or make light of self-harm or suicide. Thanks, Konami. So... There is your warning going into it if you would find anything like that. Suicide, self-harm, bullying, upsetting. This is probably not the game for you to watch or play. But there it is up front. I would update my content warning command, but Bextybot, she's in the process of migrating. So I don't want to screw her up. Could you pin that to me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Oh, okay. They are really just like, hello. We want to make sure you are aware about what this game is going to be about. If you feel like this is going to traumatize you. Don't play. The double uh, content. Seeking warning. a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. Um. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. Okay, so I guess this is literally being a teenage edgelord. Because, yeah, it is very much like, I gotta scrub my eyeliner on. Gotta wear my hot topic, like, shredded, you know, skirt with my leggings and my lace-up knee-high converse. Like, the only part of that that was legitimate was just, like, you shouldn't betray who you are as a person to fit in with people. But yeah, everything else is very just like, I don't need other people. I'm a lone wolf. It's like, humans are literally social creatures. Also, you do not need to repeat your messages. But... I'm sorry, you were dead tired. But right, hi, Kuro. Just... I'm very excited. Hopefully it's good. Can you come to the villa? Oh, The yeah. villa, okay. Maya told me to come here. Here, this place? She told you to come here? Okay, girl. Right, I do love the phone flashlight to replace the pocket flashlight. I do like that. Alright. So I'm hoping this is good because I really like 1 through 3. And Ascension was not great. <laughs> so, hopefully this one is better. The city of no hope. Okay. Just a villa. In dim. Higrandere brilliance? This model. Is it this building?
Okay, we're in Germany, question mark? Based on all of the other texts, the plan to rebuild Kenstadt an overview. Kenstadt is a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, c causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of the Chinese investment firms. Theme revitalization. Abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long since been a problem. But by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kedenstadt. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Because, yeah. Parents dreamed of this? Very much sucks right now. I mean, dreaming of freedom. All right. I already see numbers written down. And it's the Silent Hill game. So if we're, like, true to the roots, let's write down these random ass numbers. All right, freedom with four, two, six, seven, and then I think that's five, six, four, is that eight? Slash three. All right, we got the sticky notes out. But yeah, I like much more like suspenseful titles versus jump scary ones. Like I don't mind like spread out jump, stare, jump scares uh, here and there. But games that only rely on jump scares, yeah. Not my cup of tea. That's why it took me forever to finally play Five Nights at Freddy's. And I was just like, yeah, this is what I expected. Oh, we got. Plans to rebuild Kenstadt have suffered yet another major setback, as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest in foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize, owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures, due to unfortunate external circumstances, Ken Stott has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but have yet no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. All adults are, are slaves to the system, man. You don't get it, dude. Exactly. Where I really like the you, ooh, just general unease of the world of Silent Hill and like character and monster design. So I'm so excited, by the way, the, I know at least one creature, I'm not sure if it's all creatures or only some of the creatures, uh, were designed by Masahiro Ito, who is a previous creature designer for Silent Hill. So that makes me feel happy. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get some good creature designs. Exactly. I play games to escape. Why <laughs> remind me of how much life sucks, Konami? All right. Oh, great. It's locked. Right, yeah, why is my friend like, you need to go to the villa? Why, this place sucks. Are you going to kill me? Is this going to be like one of those, ish, like the Slender Man murders where it's like, oh yeah, come out into the woods. To all villa residents, we've received many inquiries about the management of this building after recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain policies more formally. Okay, well, this place sucks. Also, people who do, like, urbex, strong- Hello? Stronger than me. Maya? Because I'm just like, I- You don't know what floors are gonna collapse on you. You don't know who was just squatting in here. Like, I'm interested when watching other people's videos of, like, urbex, but we'll repaint it all. So true. Um, but I would never urbex myself- because, again, I'm too scared of just, like, what if the floor falls through? What if there's asbestos? What if I get tetanus? I don't know who's squatting in this building and what their current state of mind is. <laughs> so I do like watching, like, tours of abandoned buildings and stuff. But that is something I purely enjoy <laughs> via the internet. So I'm interested in it, Kuro. But not to do personally. <laughs> For graffiti art, spray paint, and blank wall are all you need. In Ken's stop, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work there. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting her name is CB, which is short for Cherry Blossom. 
CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so he reached out to her for her comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on the new piece, she has this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's because they are experiencing the same thing. CB added the flowers she depicts on the young girl she paints blooms out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past past traumas or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. I couldn't be more different. Did Maya do this? CB. Okay, so Maya is Sherry Cherry Blossom. Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. Okay, so our friend wanted us to meet her here the so she could like show us her art, I guess. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses, their urges. I need you to show girls as like monsters who just want to devour. What are you hiding inside? Because honestly, the true girlhood experience is just like becoming something monstrous. Don't worry about what people think. To reject the, you know, force to feel non monstrous and delicate. Be proud. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? Girl, I need you to go to therapy and, like, potentially try some antidepressants. I'm glad you, ooh, you enjoy it, Koro. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, for what you are a stronger person than I am. <laughs> Who's there? Mm, nothing, you. You're asleep. Were you so sleep? Sorry if I woke you up. I didn't see you at your job. Are you not feeling good? Sorry, I fell asleep. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. It's all good. I'm still a little tired. I'm gonna get up soon. A lie we tell ourselves every single day. That's a relief. Start, do not start sending out Hey Bess, you want to meet me at the abandoned, like, abandoned apartments? Trust me, it'll be fine. Hello? Oh. Okay. What's It's gonna be our version of the other world. She never said anything nice. Enjoy BG3. Have fun. Thanks for stopping by and thank you again for the V sub. Is our other world just gonna be like all of the terrible things we have heard or also say about ourselves? Oh joy. Child abuse and neglect in Kemstadt. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in the last year was nearly double of that of other developed nations in Europe. Yay! Wonderful! Great! Oh, the recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. My mom loved me. Oh, I'm guessing you are justifying something with that comment. My mom loved me. Like, I will say in general, speaking of, like, paranormal stuff, I'm pretty skeptical of it, but I definitely had a very odd experience in, um, like, a house near my grandparents. They knew, like, the potential owners or whatever, like, and it's, like, alleged to be haunted, 
for like years and years and I definitely like felt someone touch me and like breathe in my ear on the stairwell when there was no one near me so that's like the one time I've been like mm, maybe but overall I'm like relatively skeptical of ghost stuff but I don't rule it out completely is this okay no that's just our bed sheets all rolled up antidepressants I've taken enough medication I've taken enough medication I'm skeptical of like a lot of the stuff people will post online and stuff like that because it's like there's no way to verify this um So, that's what I mean. Like, a lot of, like, the produced videos of, like, wow, I go explore, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Yay, roaches. Oh, no. Okay. Well, here's the self-harm trigger warning. This is all on your fault! Bad things happen because of you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom. Okay. Most mostly functional mirror. They're like, all right, we got to make it dirty so it's not a perfect reflection. But all right, points for functional mirror. I'll give it that. Ugh. Honestly, the roaches are the worst part. Forget the blood. It's all of these roaches. Oh, hello. What about you, Anita? Oh, we've discovered our name. You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? Exactly, they're best in conjunction. That doesn't do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates are, were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know, I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Hello? <laughs> That's such a weird way to, like, phrase it. They deserve to be hospitalized. I'm like, well, if they weren't doing well, then maybe. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Or did we, like, lash out and cause them to be hospitalized? Cockroaches are omnivores. They have been recruited to eat human flesh of the... Ugh. That's a fact I did not need to know. I knew they were gross. I didn't know they would eat you. Ugh. Terrible fact of the day. Maya. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, running time. Thank you, well lit maze to show me where the turns are. Where am I? You're on the other world, beach. It's Silent Hill time. Am I safe? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? <laughs> Are you here? I'm in the studio. Maya, there's a monster here. Well, they rarely bite the living, but it can happen. Ugh. The one thing that really gets you is harm of small child. Yeah. I definitely understand that. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Ken's Dot has become known for its suicides, with teen girls jumping from the roof practically every year. 
Despite repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development or management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please, not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. Girl, with the way you've been talking about yourself, I think we need to worry about you jumping. Like, I don't know what's going on with Maya, but... I think we need to think about ourselves. And if we're about to do a little, you know, backflip. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. Okay, that is a little weird to be saying, Maya. That's how I want my life to be. Okay. Oh, all right. Now I can definitely see why we're worried for Maya. That definitely feels like I want to die young. So I'm still like beautiful and cool and my life I don't like get old and my life can't get that bad. I want to die at the apex of my life. Okay, so I definitely see why we're worried now. Ooh, okay, talismans. Okay. Is that actual, like, high-pitched hum in the game, or is my tinnitus acting up? I think it was in the game, but I'm not sure. Because, like, it was properly timed atmospherically if it was just, like, my ears fucking up. Hello, Maya! That monster... It's gone. Where is the studio? I don't know what we're gonna go in and she's gonna have a fire mixtape to show us. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teens. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting likes on such photos. What all the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety, the lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers could still not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Validation quest. Uh, is there anything else to look in this at in this room before we uh approach an edge? I'm not sure I wanna be taking Anita to uh <laughs> to a balcony. I'm not sure this is good for us. Ah, this might just be like a broken leg. Oh, the famous suicide spot. Oh, that is the specific spot they hit. Hello. Oh, yeah, I really like that part in Shamurai Shampoo. Because, yeah, death will rot you anyway. We all look the same once we're, you know, decomposing. Recommendation for everyone to watch Samurai Samurai Shampoo if you haven't already. Yeah, I think that with the way social media is just more and more of a mess, at risk of sounding like a boomer, I'm also fine with raising it like all age limits because I think most of them are like 13 to bumping them to 16, and even then. It's still worrisome with just how the youth are. Creepy. How the kids are with their postings and their cyberbullyings. I say it in a joking voice, but. Ooh. 
Oh, by the way. Uh, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. I don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Girl. We need to go into this, like, in like inferiority complex you have with your friend Maya. Also, I'm so glad that they didn't have the kids shorten literally everything. Like, I think the you're with the you are is one of the few times they've had them do, like, text speak. It. So, like, the kids these days aren't gotcha. shortening every single thing to you. So you don't really like this er. place. I get it. If anything, it's maybe, like, acronyms. Not so much, People like, shortening. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Not the toxic, destructive best friendship. There's no way out. If I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Even if it's jumping off the top of a building. <laughs> Not as, like, suicide pacting with Maya. Alright, well, I guess CB is the studio. Hello? Maya? Maya? Are you here? Is this your studio? Alright, we got knockoff Sprite, we got knockoff Pepsi, we got some chips. That one looks like cheer wine. But I assume it's supposed to be like Dr. Pepper or Coke. Hello. Oh dang, you got a dope and everything. Alright, so we gotta look at the sketchbook. Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. I mean, those are mostly finished. The ones right there. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Hello. Hi, Vio. Yeah. How are you? Are you here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Won't she reply? The suspense is what Where makes it good. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Am I going crazy? I mean, maybe. I don't know. This is a Silent Hill game. Right? Her art's so good. I'm not Maya, okay? Hello, conveniently timed, uh, art reveal. Yeah, how are you, Vio? It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Maybe you. Maybe you're her muse. Did you post this, too? <sighs> Even more followers. I lost followers again. Some new followers here. I Not that you tell to me to smile stuff more. like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sex. 
sexy. Loving it. Ew. Jail. <laughs> Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff. No followers. Are we not underage? Wow. wow. You hate your followers. Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Come on, we want sexy pics stop. already. Just stop! Please! I was under the impression we were high schoolers. Hello? 911? Please? I like, granted, I'm sure other high schoolers and even adults are being like, oh, post something sexy, but like, jail. <laughs> Lock him up! I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. I was thinking selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Thanks, Anita. I haven't accepted Maya's death oh. yet. Oh. Uh, huh? Why did she, she did jump do a little jump. Villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Maya's really dead? No, not my phone like lighting up at the exact moment. <laughs> it zoomed in. Uh, how? How could I forget that? Right, not the ghost text. What's this? Find it. Who? Oops. Right, yeah, this is when you go. Any reasonable person, this is when you get the fuck out of here. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. Ah! Hello? Why am I running? Why am I running? Is there a threat? Or are we just running to get out of here? Oh! Oh, let me get, let me get, let me get. Oh my god. All your fault. Okay. Is there anything behind us? Or are we just running for the sense of like the spin? So I am pretty stressed out, but I don't actually think. Oh, oh, there is a threat. Hello. Hi. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. My bad. <laughs> Is this a dream? Was that meant to happen, or is that just the death animation? Okay. Hello? What? Okay. So I guess we have to backtrack our way out. I do like her design. I do like Maya's design. And I do like the death animation. And like the reversing. Am I going crazy? I mean, maybe. All right. Third time for charm.
All right, these seem to loot together, so I guess once we see her, just turn around and book it a different way. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, I hate chase sequences so much. They stress me out so much. I know that's the point. Open, open, open. Oh, but they stress me out so bad. Ah! No. <laughs> All right, we made it. We lived. We are running, though. We are definitely not in the 90s anymore. died but her art lives on even more followers okay but it's not like the no one is ever going to notice me it's still like the account is gonna update she'll eventually hemorrhage followers don't let your 1998 dreams be just dreams I keep from over the bits. This is where this I is jumped goal. from. Bad things happen because of you! Maybe I can be like her. No! Here goes. Oh. Oh. Everyone said it's like a two hour game. Did I just manage to get the bad end immediately? Or I guess we wake up. Am I back at the okay, yeah, we wake up. We're like killing myself. Didn't solve the problem. But why didn't I die? Okay, I was like, there's no way that's the end. Hello, Ghost Maya. You find it? What? Can't leave until you find it. Is this really you, Maya? can't leave until you find it. You're dead. You're not her. Okay, I get it. You have one response. Who the fuck is this? Tell me. Okay. Well, Villa 2. Back in hell. I understand, like, that aspect of, ooh, of the Cherry Blossom quote of just, like, you shouldn't romance. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh great. Not the darkness. Hello. Um of romanticizing just Ooh, things are short, ooh. -woo. I'm gonna burn out bright and fast, which is like, no, you should wanna live a long life. But I also like in the sense of longer things, like a human life in the sense of the universe is very short, so I understand being like the other side of in the grand scheme of things, our lives are very short. We should strive to make them the best we can. Oh, great. No exit. Oh, great. We got the classic swinging light in the haunted area. Bad girl gets an empty plate. Oh, not our mom's starving us. Great. The abuse thickens. Lovely.
more. It's all your fault. Oh, hello. I will say I love that uh, our mom only got two voice lines. She had a little bit more, but... Okay. We'll repaint it all. Alright, let's see here what we got. Oh, yay. Defiled art. Uh, what? All your fault. What? Ditch. This? Ugly. The classics. Oh, great. I love just the increased, increased roachiness. Hello. All right, we've got, oh, yeah, a knife in the dartboard. Lovely, lovely. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I thought you were Cherry Blossom Girl. All right, what we got? Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. All the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences. Interesting, all of them conceptualize these issues as grandiose stories. Hmm. Okay, that almost makes it sound like they're lying the way that's phrased, but okay, no, it's just reconceptualizing it. Okay, I thought they meant like they were lying. I'm like, um, this seems like poorly done research. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an absolute of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed somewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing they would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain. Hello? Tracking? Where did you go? What the hell? To escape unbearable pain and self-hatred, the greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Hello. Wait, it's back on. That's convenient for a piece we didn't see before. Uh, how could somebody do this? It's great. Your work speaks to me. You're you're so full of yourself. What is this shit? Work sucks. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. What? Huh? Oh my god. Oh. oh fuck. Okay, goodbye. Hey, Dream Chat, how are you? Just gonna leave that. Right, can we look at the suicide spot again? What's this? It's just a cavern. Is there a bottom? Yeah, it looks pretty cavernous. Okay, great. Alright, well, we got... Is this the same one? Okay, yes, that's the same text we already saw. Hello, Amelie. This is... Okay, so like we're just before. repeating. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. I'm good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. Is Maya really dead? Yes? Why are you asking that? Just tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So she really is dead. Anita, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? 
I'm kind of. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good. Yeah, but what about therapy? That doesn't do much. You're so good to me. Talking to adults suck. You're leaving me behind. Maya really didn't tell you anything. All she talked about was a book she read. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. I mean, she didn't tell me anything. I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? Sadly, sometimes it's so just what'd like you think that. of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. The book happened it's before they died, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually, kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. Not her leading us into the terrible other world. <laughs> I can't wait to read more. Oh, okay. Okay, Anita, what you need Letters. to do, you need to focus on writing as well as your art. Just, like, post a bunch of, like, fanfics or whatever to AO3. And then you can farm kudos instead of followers on Twitter. Duh. <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta do a different aspect. You gotta look at it from a different way. Hello, highlighted great. Can I interact? No, I cannot interact with you. Okay. Alright, and this is... Oh, this is our childhood trauma room. You want food? Do what I say! Cool, thanks, Mom. Glorification of death in Japanese culture. Japanese culture, there is... a been a sense of beauty and sacrifice with harikiri killing oneself by slicing one's stomach being a prime example the idea is that by taking your own life you symbolically purge the world for your transgressions and purify yourself the concept can be confusing to many westerners with young people incorrectly assuming the japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die modern japanese people however do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore and the light they value is not the biological variety but a social one where death is needed to protect that life We're dead. What? Because I know, yeah. I know there's Seppuku. And there's also Harikiri or... I thought it was Harikari. But maybe I was just misremembering and transliterating that in my head. Kiri verse seppuku. Let's see. Let's learn real time. Are they the same thing? So they are essentially the same thing from what I am reading. Okay, so yeah, just another word for it. Harikiri is thus formal, and what you might hear people say out loud in an informal setting. Versapuku is the more formal name you'll see in documents and such. Thank you, Google. Exactly, Wikipedia, the most reliable source. So, okay, I'm glad we've learned that they are basically the same thing. And mainly just, you know setting changes of formal versus informal. Alright, that's killing ourselves at the building. Alright, I 
anything new in this mural? No. Alright. What we got? Belief in the Witch of Kenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there's an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the belief in witches. Alright, fair enough. Is this our shrine? I, I'm hoping our mom is dead. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Okay, I love this. Fortune telling? I like that the A other character from Anakin is. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. So true. That's not a JoJo's reference. I mean, anything can be a JoJo's reference if you squint enough. <laughs> also... I hadn't even noticed the fact that the lip flaps didn't match um, until, like, that scene. So, props to them for the scenes with Maya being engaging enough where I hadn't even paid attention to the fact that the lip flaps didn't match up with the overdub. Or, like, the English, like, dubbing over it. I don't know why I said overdub. What a weird way to phrase that sentence. So, good points. Yeah, I assume it's originally Japanese. And I honestly, like I said, hadn't really even noticed the fact that there was a disparity between what her mouth was saying and what the audio was saying until, like, that scene. So, props on them, because I that just means I was, ooh, hello, engaged enough in the scene that I wasn't paying attention to it. This is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in the world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. All right. Deep feelings. Like, that looks like it's a journal. So hopefully that didn't make it to the actual person. Yikes. But hey, journaling is a good, healthy way to get your emotions out. Alright, what do we got? Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Deutschland Medical University, founded in 19... Or 1709. DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. The state of our art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Okay, so orientation this is details. For the college Amelie wants to go to. Amelie? Um, Amelie? Hey, Anita, do you have a minute to talk? Yeah, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. Well, if something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house, house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, I just gotta avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. I'm good. Not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the look. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself. Emily is trying so Emily's hard. the only one who thinks that. Emily is trying so hard to be a good friend. 
Oh, okay. Jeff's a killer looking ass. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back from Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. Oh no, no. Was Emily assaulted by her brother? I know he's probably messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I believe other girls walk around school in town showing so much skin. Oh, I can't believe they walk around showing so much skin. I itch my face and my model disappears. What is up with YouTube Studio tonight? Okay, bye. February 21st, 2021. I'm finding, finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how my parents are fighting, how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They're yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. This is it, the test day. May 11th, 2021. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard and I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for you and dad. Ironically enough, you just got a YouTube short talking about the social media bill. They're always listening. Always reading. <laughs> Aww. Her little squishmallow. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm thinking I, like, knocked my camera around when I was messing with my monitor to get the new HDMI in. So I think I just need to adjust the camera. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. I won't be it won't be good for my skin. I can hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Time to hit the books. Oh, was that note from Maya's diary or from Amelie's diary at Maya? Like being mad about her taking Anita's attention? Question mark. November 9, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild a town. They're going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town to something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen, even if things worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to be out before my brother comes back. Uh-oh. They repeated your books. Lots of copies of Habits Are Everything. Lots of copies of this green and, like, yellow striped thing. Six ways to make your life better. You could just, like, slap a different title on these. I will say that's kind of a pet peeve. That even just with these few books, they couldn't make all of them different. Or just fill these other things with different knickknacks. Tisk tisk. <laughs> but again, that's such like a minor, minor little complaint. Stay home alone. Stay home alone. 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 August twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22nd, 2021. Mom. <coughs> Excuse me. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even with that, without the rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All of my hard work for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. September 23rd, 2021. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear, but where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Emily hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Kill him. I'm gonna have a little sit down with Chris Hansen. And then kill him. September 25th, 2021. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of a... Wait, is Amelie dead too? Fuck. 
An 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of a Ketterstam apartment building. Girl was rushed to the hospital and was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note was found. Police believe her death to be a suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? Oh my god. We're gonna have, like, an Amelie monster now? Oh, that's a pipe, not a door frame. Hello? Um... Let's explore not the way we're supposed to go first. Let's just lead us back out and around. Okay, so that leads us back to the studio. Amelie being dead too. Alright, is this gonna slam closed in my face? Oh no. No, don't make me relive high school stuff. Don't make me... Alright, let's go back to high school everyone. Granted, like, on the overall, I didn't really hate high school. It was, it was just there. I have no particular strong feelings about it either way. Oh. Hello. Oh. Why would you throw your shoe at me, you weirdo? Don't you need that? Freak, no, no wonder nobody likes you at school. Which, yay, all this trash in our seat. Great, thank you, love it. Is there something we need to interact with? Oh the witch's locker. What the hell? Get out, you freak! Slut! You're our fucking weird! What a freak! Cocky piece of shit! It seems more like it would be directed at Maya. sequence though with like the word oh okay I really like this other sequence especially like the spiraling and like the walls closing and I feel like that's a really good just like interpretation of the feeling of this I guess because she made this version of the other world? Or are we and Maya one and the same? 
Oh, great. My approach is dodging to see. <laughs> Bubble says hi. Hello. Oh, I missed the door. Oh, oh. Uh, ooh, I like all the eyes that killing are constantly watch. Oh, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Light. Oh, ah, uh, ah! Oh, oh! Don't look at me! Come in, please! Stop it. Don't run! No, please, I would love to run! Thank you very much. Oh, what? Please, no. <laughs> Why are you chasing me? Right, what do you want from me? All right, let me in. Granted, I imagine a lot of these are just gonna go through very similar hallways until we reach wherever we need to reach. Hi, Maya. I zoom up to you, I hear. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, so now this is like the backwards way. Alright, all of them. Also, the camera, I don't know if this is planned. But like, it feels like it gets way harder to control when we're running. Stop. Stop. But maybe that's just the stress of it all. All right, isn't this where she gets us? Okay. Uh, can I go this way? Oh, I can. Okay. Huh. Why are you chasing me? Okay. Okay. Not again. Not again. We did it. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Not the text tone. Find it. Find what? Find it. What am I looking for? What the fuck am I supposed to find? Right, you're not being helpful, Ghost Maya. Oh my god, it's me. Can I not examine this yet? Do I need to look at this other stuff first? This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh. You like what you see? Come closer then. <laughs> Why are we just creeping around the corner? Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Is this how Those we became friends? Look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Oh, maybe Feel free we to were stop mad. Anytime. You're always welcome. Oh, maybe the mad note was from us. 
about her taking Amelie from us. Naya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Well, she definitely sees us now when she tries to kill us. first. I haven't been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning? Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking issues out on someone. It's gotta be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? What? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Because I lost that special person? Why would your mom be mad at you about, like, a breakup, question mark? Oh, great. More school. Library. So, I'm back at school. There's no beauty. I really like the creepy dilapidated, like, versions when we have these, like, flashbacks to Maya. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. Is that book about the author who killed him? I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Does mine even exist? So in the other scene, she talks about reading a book and reading a letter. It. I feel like there's only oh, two okay. people. And one of us is not real. I'm assuming it's that book on the table, but... I love all these books. They're just like, learn! <laughs> Modern eating habits. Sapiens. Kenstop, a town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for slumps or for city slump. Kenstop continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is a mere 0. 0.7, less than half the German nation average, 1.6. Miscarriages are at 31%, more than double the average, 15%. I mean, that could be because we don't have access to resources and can lead to poor maternal health. But the economy is in shambles, and the once blooming, oh, booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kenstad. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she believed to have placed a curse on the town, stimming its growth. So is a curse but why me why do i have to be cursed like this beep, boop, beep, boop. oh wait holy shit i just realized the text tone comes out of my controller wait that's neat i always forget that the ps5 controller does stuff like that <laughs> find it is this your curse find it Right, you're really not helping me out, Ghost Maya. It won't open. 
though. Alright. Which one of you books has a curse in it? Anything else over here? Most of the Konami games I've played have been just the Silent Hill series, so I was not aware that they were the first to do. Looks like oh, there we go. Space for a book here. The Wait, like PS4 controller. What are these? Oh, these are the I still wait for you. Okay, are these the? No way. All right, so do I need to go find volume two? No, I've never, well, I've played part of one, but no, I've never played the Metal Gear series. It's on my extensive list of games to play, but I've never gotten around to it. Like I have whatever like the full collection is that they released a couple of years ago for the PS3 or like quote unquote full collection. Like Whoa. another school. What you doing down there? Why does this always happen? I've never seen Maya like that before. People, people. You are right, Anita. You left me on red, so I was worried. I was thinking about Maya. I'm not sure if you know this, but she was bullied at school. I know. I bullied her. <laughs> I was expecting it to be some weird was like, I know, I was the jerk. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue and then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she'd talk to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend? That's not true. I mean, sometimes you don't want to burden your friends, and like that doesn't make it right, but that's like a common thought process. Alright, hello, volume two. I assume you're in here. Maya's somewhere. locker. No, That's... it's not here. What a fucking razor blade. It wasn't blade. here before, either. In her desk? <sighs> what? What do you mean? Oh, liar. Like, what do you mean, what? <laughs> Alright. Is this my locker? Amelie's locker. Oh, Amelie's locker. Shizu, Japanese novel. See, it's only... Well, we there's a picture of her and Anita and her and Maya. Yes, it's just a novel. I'm so confused. Wait a sec. But then again, I'm not surprised that we have some twists and turns. Some things Wait. to try and wrap our mind around. All right, where's my locker then? I was so glad in high school we didn't have like two tiered lockers because in middle school we had like top and bottom lockers and I hated the few times I got stuck with a bottom locker. It was such a pain and you always feel like just in the way Hello? Any of these?
Oh, there we go. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? All right, let's see if that number from the very start of the game helps us out. Four, two, six, seven. It Damn it! Open. All right, we also had five, six, four, I think like an eight. There's also three at the end, so three. Damn it. Uh, some schools split them into two, but yeah, in most places they are the same thing. Alright. Can I access my phone? Oh, 924? The day she died? Or 2409, depending on how we're going to do it. 0924. Two, four. Oh, nine. All right. No dice. Okay, so that just goes back to can't leave until you find it. I look at my phone because I'm wondering if it's Maya, like as it would be like text tone, not text tone, but like on a keypad. All right, so M would be six, A would be one, no. Would A, I forget to, no, that, yeah, that would have been one. Oh no, I'm also looking at my phone, which is different from how all right, I'll go with my phone where it has it on two. I need like <laughs> an old, an older. Well, granted, the, the kids these days wouldn't have. All right, is it just Maya? It's not Maya. All right, anything in here? I don't see any dates here. Game, don't make me start going through this just obnoxiously procedurally. Just zero 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 one zero 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 two. Oh, wait, two. Oh. All right, we got two. Wait, is that a Robbie the Rabbit sticker? Okay, that's cute. That's a cute little little Easter egg. All right, now we have to look for... All right, one, zero. All right, so we have one, two, zero, three. All right. Zero, one, two, three. Oh, liar, I bet. So we need zero... Three was red. Zero three one two. Zero three one two. I know what's inside. And that and is can't look away. Okay. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? It would also be two back in the day. Okay. I can't remember if they used one or not, still, because my one is keyed to my uh, voicemail. I can't remember, like, I'm trying to imagine, like, the full touchpad. <laughs> no, not touchpad, but, like, key touch typing. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? Oh, no, did we find her suicide note? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. 
I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find oh, no. a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. Girl, this sounds like he was a predator. They didn't understand our relationship. They were just judging us. Like, they, they don't get it. They don't get it. I don't care that I'm a high schooler and he's like 29. They don't get it. That's like the vibe I get from this. Girl, no, he was a predator. People. People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Mama me. Just... Me and you. Oh no, did they suicide pact? <laughs> Are they alive and we killed ourselves because we were upset that our friends were run like Maya. turning away she from us? She was asking Amelie for help, but I just. <sighs> Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. So, why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Amelie is my friend. She's mine! Uh, I, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> Not you stealing some girl's suicide note. Okay, well, I get why Maya is chasing us down then. Now I guess the other door. But I mean, like, at the same time, like, I get where she's coming from just like i have nothing else in my life and this girl seems to have everything and she's taking my only friend like that doesn't make what she did right obviously but i can understand like oh yay oh yay i can understand why she did it again doesn't make it right Honestly, being a teenage girl just sucks. It's hard, and it's a miserable a lot of the time. And if one of the few people who actually, like, you can find comfort in, and you're losing that, damn. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I'm sorry, Maya. I'm sorry, Maya. I'm sorry, Maya. Please, Maya. My little legs can't run that fast. I feel like I'm just running in circles. But everything looks the same. Alright, here we are again. Bye, I'm sorry. I was trying to navigate being a teenage girl just like you were. And that doesn't mean what I did was right. I'm sorry. So oh good, spotlight. Show me the way, spotlight. I like the sound. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Maya, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. All of my friends are dead. I don't have to die too. I will say like similar to this, there was a moment where this is like middle school not high school where one of um i felt like one of my friends like she was ignoring me for someone else and i started to get really jealous of the other girl that she was hanging out with but then <laughs> me and the girl i thought was stealing my best friend we decided wait i i think that Friend one had done something to like annoy me and like annoy friends two. And we're like, wait, what if instead of like hating each other because we feel like we're competing for friends one one time, what if we I don't know why the solution was that we can all be friends. But again, being a girl is it's such an odd twisted tale we leave. Um was what if we instead of like feeling like friend one is ditching us for the other one. What if we just ditch her and become best friends and cut her out of the equation? Again, I don't know why that was our solution. We eventually all became friends, but. <laughs> that was like, wait a second, instead of fighting, what if we just cut her out and we become besties? Again, like I said, it all worked out where we all just became friends anyway. You're here to punish me! <laughs> Alright, because this is the end of this hall. Alright, yes. Go here. Go here. Girl, open the girl door fast. Open the girl fast. Open the door faster. Oh, my hands are slipping on these joysticks. The teenage man's tail is just the hand. Yeah, you learn a lot about like social politics and social structures and just how to navigate uh, shit like that as a teenage girl. And I mean, hey, I'm not gonna say it's not useful. It's very useful to the rest of your life. Oh fuck, that's the door where we die. Fuck, 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 oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die. 
I had already forgotten her second spawn. I will say, the shades definitely makes it tense and suspenseful. I do wish we had different interaction with Monster Maya than just repeated chase sequences. But at the same time, it's not meant to be like a full game, so I don't know that. Other thing and it's not like combat would make sense either. And again, I've already stated I'm not the biggest fan of chase sequences, so that could just be my bias coming out. So they haven't like confirmed it, but I, well, I guess she did say, forgive me, Maya. But yes, yeah, since they're talking about how Maya's like artist pseudonym is like Cherry Blossom, it would, no, don't get stuck. It would make sense that um, mo the, the Cherry Blossom monster would be Maya. All right, pause real quick, readjust our grip. Because this the door where she reappears. All right, don't go that way. I don't know where I need to go, though. Does it loop? Oh, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to loop it. Okay. Open the door! Look at me! That will have set me free. Okay. Okay. We lived. <laughs> For now. Oh, thank God. Maya. I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. What's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died because I killed her. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa Isn't roof. Amelie dead because of college? Well, there was supposed to be one. In the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. No, no, please. Maya, let me go. But I jumped off the building. Huh? Oh, oh, my God. Even if I die. Does it end? Well, on the Silent Hill, to be fair. How many times do I have to go through this? Yeah, people, people. 
How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? Well, giant creepy hole in the wall. Sounds about right for Silent Hill-esque. Maya's diary too. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of the light breeze sitting me flying made me feel queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their head? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Also, Amelie's diary very much made it sound like it matched up with the... Like, a girl jumped to her death because she couldn't go to college. And it's just like, that's... Is this portion going to be realizing that Amelie is dead? New future. Don't you dare go outside! All right. No future, no hope. What a great interior decorator we got. Just have a live, laugh, love, distress, distrust, despair. No exit. Okay, literally no exit. Let's go back trash room. It's time you pay for your crimes. Oh, no, go back. The Silent Hill phenomenon. Oh, no, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Nothing. Take that! Welcome to Ace Attorney. We're, you're on trial for the suicide, assisted suicide of Maya. You caused her to jump. What do you have to say about that? Time for a cross-examination. I don't know if I like calling it the Silent Hill phenomenon. That, mm, this is taking it into a bit too corny. The suicide rates increased around the world, in large part to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. But the country's still unsure how to best handle the issue. These trying times, oh God, a nickel for every single time I've heard the word trying times in the past four years. You were rich. Also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas, those affected suddenly claim to see fog even on fair weather days and lose consciousness slightly after. No, no, I don't like that. It's become no I was fine with the game, but I don't like this. This has come to be known as a silent hill phenomenon named after a similar event that occurred in the eponymous US town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. Blank, a social psychologist at Blank University who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty in sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunneled as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. Redacted calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as a stronger emphasis on counseling and mental care for the young. I mean, yeah, it's named after the town, but I don't know, that just seems a little... <laughs> hmm. That was a real strong-armed way to be like, hey, remember, this is a Silent Hill game, kids! <laughs> She's going through the Silent Hill phenomenon. It's like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> I could tell by all of the nasty metal wire, like, fences and barbed wire shit. No, Maya, please. Yeah, that was very much a telling portion. When they've already done a pretty good job of showing. This is... Wait, me and my mom lived here. Oh no, are we about to recount this is our, our living room? Oh. I'm assuming because we previously had functioning mirror and now no longer do, 
I want to believe that means something and isn't just we forgot to put a reflection in in the late stage of the game. I want to believe it's meaningful. Diary of a Single Mother December 29, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happy ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Angels? I... There's no mention of us having a sibling. Do I have a reflection yet? No. Alright. Our house is becoming more cluttered. A new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. So this is like a year later. February 22nd, 2012. My daughter drew a picture of her family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. Okay, well, he's not her dad yet. Back off. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass him soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless bitch who raised me. I won't raise my ch children with hate and fear. I don't know. Well... Seems like thus continues the cycle of abuse. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Because you're trying to make the pizza man our dad, Mom. I don't care about that. I just care that he brings us pizza. Exactly. Better to just, like, not have a father figure than have a bad dad. I'm giving up my life for a completely you. absent one. March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. Never mind. I don't even care that he brings this pizza. I think the pizza's shit. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd, 2012. So that's the 7th and 22nd. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with him. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll see the light in him. Did you fucking lock your kids up as punishment? What the fuck? April 12th, it, he told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. They'd just be quiet for a little bit. Everything would be fine. What is wrong with him? You locked kids full of energy in a closet, you psycho. He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. I hate our mom. Fuck this lady. Oh, cool. Leaving us in squalor. Thanks, mom. May 9th. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately, I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th. I was contacted by Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15th. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. What the fuck is going on in the closet? Oh, wait! We get littler and littler. I just realized we're shorter. No, Mama's becoming a child again. I really like that touch. Stop!
Oh no, I hate the dead baby fridge. Not if he's going to be a piece of shit. You're better off being a single mom if you're going to have someone who's not going to be good to your children and not going to be there. Miss Krista Plannert, we have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response. Like, having a good father figure is important, but... The dead baby fridge. There is definitely an upset child in there. And there's our mom probably shoved, like, our parents' corpse <laughs> in there. Or our parents' corpse. Or, like, sibling's corpse. Since apparently we have, she has children and we've mentioned nothing about a sibling. We've reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive response. We take this to you have no intention of remedying the issue. You are in viola violation of German Civil Code Article 11631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. If you have any objections, please contact us as soon as possible. There. That is the creepy baby fridge. Oh no, not there being blood outside of it. Oh, I don't wanna. Oh, I hate, like, I love, but I hate that you can still hear, like, the crying through the wall. Oh, I hate it, but it's a good touch. Oh my god. Not me being right. No, oh my god. Oh my god. Boy found dead in refrigerator, mother arrested. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother. Jesus Christ. You can just stay in there. Stay in there. Don't lock me in here. Let me out. Oh. This is all your fault. Bad things happen because of you. You should never have been born. I was really expecting the mom's monologue to be like, my mom hit me and locked me up and I turned out fine. And I'm just like, clearly you did not. What the fuck? 
Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. It's the same thing, yeah. Him taking our brother. Oh, thank God it's a baby doll. I saw, like, a small being in there. I'm like, do not tell me they're about to show me a dead baby. Okay, I'm so glad that they were not that fucked up. Okay. That's still sad because you know what it is. Jesus Christ. I was kind of hoping that it wasn't going to be like, yeah, our brother's in the fridge. Dead, but... Jesus. do it just like no nope, not blush i meant to turn off my cry I do like the classic, like, everything. Oh, we're going, like, full Silent Hill now with everything fluttering away into, like, the metal grating. I like that. Hello? I really like what you drew me way back. Oh, I can't see shit. Oh. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. I can't do shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I just actually need to loop back into the apartment. I really like what you drew me way back. All right, power of friendship, protect me. Oh my god, can I stop running into walls? Please, let's remember all of the good times. Power of friendship, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is, like, my view so obstructed? It's not enough you had to kill my brother, Mom. Now you're Silent Hill version. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. Because, yeah, I'm just like, it seems like every single time, maybe I don't need the power of friendship. Maybe the power of friendship is killing me. You know how I said I hate chair sequences? Good God, do I hate chair sequences? I really like what you drew me way back. I don't know where I'm going, but sure. What's this? What is that? Is that important? Okay, I cannot get to that. That's great. Hmm? What's that? Oh. I also you love like that I don't see? get my flashlight for a hot second while I'm looking at this box. While I'm looking at my pictures or whatever.
turn. What? God damn it. No, we're back here. Fuck my life. Cool, I love it. This is great. This is so fun. I'm having the time of my life. Okay, I don't think we've been in here. Do I have a picture in my trauma closet? No, I don't have a picture in my trauma closet. Okay, so we circle back. No, can you stop getting ahead of me? Can you stop moving? That's my job. No, 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 okay. You're into art, right? Yeah, yeah, I wanna audit, audit the art. Class? I would love to audit an art glass. Oh god, I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Great, cool, lovely. Alright, we're pausing, we're cheating, we're pausing and cheating. Got the school area. Alright, we've got that. I don't know where I am. She's probably gonna pop up right in front of me. Of course she is. Door. Okay, I think we need to go in here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just getting more and more lo No, we're back here! We just did a loop. One, we're almost there. What are you hiding inside? Right, where is she? Let me out! Mom! Yes, mom, please let me out of here. No, 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 no please! I've gotten so many of the pictures! I only need one more! Don't kill me, mom! No, no, no! Stop running into things! Anita, please. I need you to pretend like you are a track star right now. I need us to believe that we're a runner, we're a track star. Alright, so, so don't run door that I need. I don't think so. Can I go through this? I can. What? Hello? Alright. Actually, I think that's where I needed to be. Wait, go back, go back. Article. All right, we go in here. It look like a dead end. It splits off into two different rooms. Take the one on the right and go all the way to the left. Okay. Hopefully this is the right way. I feel like it's not. Okay, no, we've just looped around it. No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. Also, why am I being slowed down? I just have one more divine.
No, she's gonna be right. In front of me! No, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. All right, see, we're near it, because I'm getting a picture. No, 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 I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, God, I'm falling a wall. Please, please. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. All right, so I need to find a way to loop back in there without getting got. I hate it here. Are we gonna come out of there? Can I go back in and are you gonna? No! All right, come on. Come on. Let's play loopy loop. To the right. I think. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. All right. We go in here and then we pause the game and then we cheat. They're supposed to be, I like it's flashing pictures of our friends, which means we're close. But why can't I fucking find it? I've never felt such a visceral hatred. All right, go. It says go to the right. Oh, we found it. We found it. We found it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, where's the door? We don't have chase music anymore, but I don't know if I trust that. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> gonna be alone forever. <sighs> okay. February 21st. I've just been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might be finally free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Is there anything new in the sketchbook? March 13, 2022. Approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Maya Akko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of the apartment building in Ketterstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but all those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may have been suicide, but given her popularity and lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Great. She killed herself half a year ago and that means i've been here this whole time what'll it take for you to forgive me please end this just let me die <laughs> hello sketchbook Is this me? Oh, we had a matching one with this? Emily. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. 
their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So... She did notice me. I think that art is like, it's a mirror, like, set with Amelie. That's so cute. So she wrote that on the 4th, and this was on the 12th, okay. So about a week after she wrote, what if I just ended on a good note, is when she in fact did end it. Oh? I was so happy. When my mom liked the first picture I drew. Oh, <laughs> it disappeared. Sorry, I was like, hello, is this a scene? Since it like, was mostly black, I'm like, hello, is this a cutscene? I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Emily, what should I do? We've been dead the whole time. Dun dun dun. I really hope that's not like the twist. <laughs> Anita, what's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said. I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Homily. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Do we really end this with her successfully killing herself? Amelie. Oh, thank God. I was going to be so mad. such a good friend. I am here for you, Anita.
Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. I feel like we should have, like, cut out those first, like, Edra, like, uh, I don't need anyone and no one needs anything. Like, because I feel... Like, I get she's basically saying that's a stupid mindset, but I assume that's what she's saying. But it also... Like, I don't know. Having that phrasing still there also felt like it was kind of betraying a lot of the game. I don't know, I'm gonna choose the most terrible option. Uh, chef's kiss Akira Yamaoda and Masahiro Uto. Uh, chef's kiss. Moving day. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Aww. But yes, I did like this game. The, the final chase sequence, I feel like, could have been tightened up a little bit. But overall, I liked it. Another banger by Kiriyama Oda. Let's go. So I guess it was a different girl or maybe it is meant to be up to interpretation of the room you find with a girl who's trying to go away to college because her brother is a creep because it really seemed like those were like Amelie's diaries but I'm guessing they were just a girl similar to Amelie because I'm like okay Amelie's dead too question mark but it seems like, no, in fact, she's fine. We're moving away together. But I liked it, it was good. Glad this one wasn't the hot mess that Ascension was. So it's gonna be really sad if they put out two hot messes back to back. Yes, this was free. This is something I would pay like 10 bucks for. So maybe they decided to release it for free after everyone was like, uh, Ascension was shit. And they're like, oh God. Because maybe it was supposed to be like a $10, $15 game or something. But maybe after they're like, oh my god. But hey, maybe it was meant to be free all the time. Like, just in complete, like, from start to finish planning. But maybe like, Ascension was received really poorly. Let's make a short message for you. <laughs> But I did really like how Silent Hilly, especially the end labyrinth was. Even though the end labyrinth was my biggest complaint with the game. But I really liked the the design was good. Like the other world was much better than like the apartment complex but i mean the apartment complex was fine for what it was 
Oh, yeah. I, I already forgot because I hated it so much. The, the Silent Hill phenomenon. It's just like, yeah, I get it. We already know that Silent Hill is like a concept type thing. Like the other world concept. We already get that. You didn't need to give me a little piece of text. I wish I did not like pick up that newspaper. Because that was the stupidest thing. Yeah, because they were doing a pretty good job of showing us and not telling us, like, oh, this is a Silent Hill game. I also like the chains on the door. They give me big Silent Hill for the room vibes. Like the final chained door and having to break it down to escape. Also, hopefully me talking about the game hasn't... Oh, look, the completed mural of the two of us. Oh, that's so pretty. Also, not me trying to screen capture it <laughs> with like FL. I'm like, wait, this isn't on Steam. And again, thank you, Konami, for being like, hello. If you are having thoughts of suicide or self harm, here are the crisis lines. <laughs> they really wanted to shove that in your face. Be like, make sure we have done everything we can to give you resources. Oh, and instead of, like, sitting at the top of the roof. Now it's, like, the memorial with a sunrise, like, for better things to come. Okay, that's sweet. So, yes, overall, I liked it. Only, only minuses on my end were, I would reword the letter to 18-year-old self. Or, like, make it more clear that you're rejecting, like, all of that because I don't know starting off with like reaching out to people is dumb or whatever like I feel like I could have maybe like reworded that a little differently would have taken out the Silent Hill phenomenon because I was just stupid and I don't know done something different with the final labyrinth design like for visibility and maneuverability but Overall, it was good. I liked it. But the design of the final labyrinth was mm, chef's kiss, Pete Silent Hill. Like, that's exactly what the other world should look like, so. Yeah, the design was great. Just the navigation was a little funky. Oh, yeah, I definitely feel like they made it clear that Maya glorifying, like, I'm gonna die while I'm happy. I'm gonna die when I feel like I've accomplished something. I, f I personally feel like they did a good enough job making sure that people would not be like, yeah, wow, I'm gonna do that. That's a great worldview. I feel like that was very much like, no girl, that's dumb. Don't do that. Yes, the, the monster design was very good, but not to be like up his ass, but it was the Masahiro Ito design, so it was gonna be good. <laughs> so yes, I like this. It was good to have like a good Silent Hill. So I'm very happy for that. But yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just like sitting here and taking it all in. I really liked it. Okay, thank you everyone for hanging out. I love and appreciate all of you very, very much. Also, if you do ever have thoughts of suicide or self-harm, there are plenty of options uh, to reach out to someone. Also, reach out to your friends because that's what your friends and loved ones are there for is to listen to you if you are in a crisis. I know it's very easy to be like, oh, I don't want to burden people. I feel bad, blah, blah, blah. But like your friends are going to feel worse if you like fucking kill yourself. So, it's way better to be like, hey, I'm not doing so well than the pain of, like, your absence in people's life. Because that's going to be a bigger hole than the uncomfortableness of reaching out to someone. But alright, little PSA aside. Thank you again, everyone, for hanging out. I love and appreciate you all very much. <laughs>